In an update in Arroyo Grande, for the first time, the city is changing how council members are elected. Reporter Austin Herbaugh shows us what prompted the change and what it means for voters. As has happened up and down the state of California, we received a demand um, threatening lawsuit or bringing suit against us uh, for having violated the California Voting Rights Act. That threat resulted in a $30,000 settlement that's changing how Royal Grande City Council members are elected. What we're looking at doing is going from uh, having four city council people and the mayor all at large to the mayor retaining uh, an at-large uh, election-based system and creating four districts for the other city council people. The city has narrowed down the proposed districts to four maps, a process that allowed community members to draw their own proposed maps. The population in each, each district needs to be roughly equivalent. Um, we can't have more than 10% deviation among two districts. So uh, the online mapping tool was great because it did the math for you, and I'm always a fan of that. The goal? To make it easier to run for a city council seat. What they're asking for is a good thing. What they're asking for is for the bar to be lower so that more people have access to run, and that is always a good thing. So I most certainly agree with that, and I would love to see more women, more people of color at being represented at our local level. It's still unclear whether that goal will be achieved. Some are also questioning the motive of groups threatening litigation. I think it's noteworthy that they didn't attend any of our public hearings. Other cities pushing back. Arroyo Grande, in the meantime, is hoping to make city government more inclusive. So I am only the second elected female in the history of Arroyo Grande. So we still have disenfranchised groups. The city council is set to pick one of the four maps at Tuesday night's meeting. Reporting in Arroyo Grande, Austin Herbach, KSBY News. The districts are expected to be finalized in April. These maps will remain in effect until the next census.